Okay, another trick question. You mean how many has he played or how many has he actually qualified for? How many has he qualified for? Okay, wow. Um, let's see. So, wow. Okay. You ready for some Magnus Carlsen sure. trivia? I'll okay. do pretty badly, but sure. Let's okay, go. let's do it. What is Magnus Carlsen's birthday? His birthday is November, I believe November 30th. I'm, it's, is it 28th or 30th? I think it's the 30th. It's November Correct. 30th, yeah. Do you know the year? Well, I'm 87 and he's part, yeah, he's part of that next generation, so it should be 1990. Nailed it. Where was Magnus Carlsen born? Now this one is tricky because I, I get these cities confused. Uh, it's, it's with a T, but the problem is in my mind, I always want to say it's Trondheim, but that's not the right one. It's, uh, it's, um, it's, uh, is it, it's, uh, it's Tonsberg, right? It's Tonsberg, that's what it is. There's a lot of T's from, so, but you got it, Tonsberg. But I always confuse that with Trondheim. And actually, there's a picture of like the hospital room on the Wikipedia page, and I thought it was kind of strange. Yeah. Th th there is, it's like they, there's a picture of like the window or the hospital itself. And I just thought it was kind of weird that they memorialized that. But anyway, whatever, <laughs> okay. beside the point. All right. At what age did Magnus Carlsen become a grandmaster? That should be, it's getting younger. That should be, it's 13 or 14. I'm pretty sure it was at 13 years old. I don't, I don't remember exactly how many days. Correct. 13 years, 148 days. How many siblings does Magnus have? Okay, so, um, okay. So there, he has he has at least three sisters. I know that for sure. I'm trying to think if it's more than that. Is it three or is it four? I'm gonna assume, there's, I think it's four sisters. So I think that, I think it's- uh, It's three. It's, oh, it's three, I'm wrong? Yeah, okay. but can you name them? Can you name the three of them? Uh, definitely, I mean, I know there's Ellen. Um, there's one with the S. I, and there's one other one, but no, I can't name it. Okay. What happened first? Magnus winning the Norwegian Chess Championship or you winning the U.S. Chess Championship? So I won the U.S. Championship in 2000. This could be a trick question, though, because when I won the U.S. Championship in 2005, it was not held in 2005. It was held in 2004. So this could be a trick question. Um, but I'm going to assume Magnus is 1990, so he would have been 14. I'm, I'm going to assume that I, I won the U.S. Championship before he won the Norwegian Championship, but I could be wrong on that. Correct, you did. What is Magnus's favorite opening move in over-the-board games? I'm going to assume it's E4, but I honestly don't know. <laughs> Correct, he's played E4 762 times and D4 555 times. Okay. On chess.com specifically, under his Magnus Carlsen account, what is Magnus's favorite opening move? For online, what's his favorite move? I, it's probably not E4. I'm gonna guess that it's, um, let me think about this. I'm gonna guess that it's Knight F3. It's E4. It is E4, okay. Who did Magnus play in his first FIDE World Championship? Oh, this I remember very well. Th this was actually, cause Magnus's rise was very quick and I, I remember it was very well. He played, I think, he played the World Cup and then he played Iceland. Those were two very, very critical moments for him. And the World Cup, I remember this very well. He played Levon Aronian in 2004 and in Tripoli. And I remember this also because, um, like, I was playing in the first round too against a Russian player. I won in, won in like the first two tiebreak games. But Magnus's match against Levon went very deep. I think it went to like six games, I think, in the tiebreak, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and everyone was watching that match very closely because Levon was considered one of the big favorites to win the World Cup. So. It was against Levon Aronian, Tripoli. That was great. We thought we were going to get you with that trick question. but uh, I remember that very well. You nailed it. Okay. What do Yevgeny Bereyev, Gadakomsky, Buhang Shi, and Jan Shistov Duda all have in common? Oh, they've, they've all... Um, I'm, I think that's pretty obvious. They've all beaten Magnus in the World Cup. Nailed it. Okay. How many candidates tournaments has Magnus Carlsen qualified for? Okay, another trick question. You mean... How many has he played, or how many has he actually qualified for? How many has he qualified for? Okay, wow. Um, let's see, so, wow, okay. I'm gonna assume that th th this is before he became world champion. So I'm gonna assume he qualified in 2008. The world championship was in, I always get the years confused here. The, the candidates was in 2013, I believe, in London, if I'm not mistaken. So it would have been, he would have qualified 2007 was a World Cup, he didn't, that was when the Kamsky, I think, won, if I'm not mistaken. So it would have been 9, 11, 13, so I'm gonna guess it's it's three. It's my guess. Four. 2007, 2011, oh, he did. 2013, okay. and then eventually 2024. Oh, so you're counting this, yeah. I wasn't sure you are yeah. counting this one, but. That's the part of the trick question, right? All right, let's see. 
How many tries did it take for Magnus to win the main event, not the blitz, of Norway chess? Norway chess. Okay, so if I really want to do this mathematically, I can probably figure it out. But it, he, the first year, I believe, was 2013. He didn't win. 14, 15. Um, was it 15 or was it 16 that he won? I'm trying to remember. So he did play. I feel like he did. I feel like the first time he won was actually a year that I was not there for some reason. So I'm going to guess that it, it he played 13, 14, 15. I'm going to guess that it was the fourth try. It was 2016. Very good. Wow. I was right? Yeah, it took his fourth try. Okay. Yeah. Who did Magnus Carlsen beat to claim the highest peak rating of all time? To beat. So, okay. So this was the London Ch Chess Classic. Actually, this is... Um, more complicated because I remember this very well also because I played Magnus in round eight, I believe. I think it was a nine round event, the London Chess Classic. And when I was not able to beat Magnus in the white pieces in, this, in an Alpen Sicilian, that ensured that Magnus would be published with a higher rating than Gary Kasparov. So it was definitely in London. Um, so I assume you're talking live ratings. Who did he beat there to, to guarantee it? Um, London Chess Classic, um, this was 2012, 2013. Yeah, I, I don't know. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna spend all day thinking about it. The answer they have is he beat Hikaru Nakamura on April 21st at the 2014 Shamkir event, and that gave him a 28.89. Oh, oh you, you're asking a different question. Who did he beat that gave him the highest, his highest rating of all oh, time? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. okay, yeah, so okay. They, that was a actually, trick question, but. but that I believe, if you're asking about Shamkir, because that's when he set the highest rating, was his, his win against me or his win against Fabiano in the last round? I don't know, probably in the live ratings it was his win against me, but he also won a very big game, I think, in the last round against Fabiano, which which uh, which I think helped a lot also for his rating. What happened first? You playing a classical game versus Magnus or him winning the Norwegian Championship? So that, that game in Beale would have been July of 2005, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna assume that probably my game against Magnus happened first. Correct. Okay. Magnus recently co-authored a chess book. Who did he co-author it with, and what is the title? I don't know the title, but it's it's a book with um it's a book with like David Howell. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Grind like a grandmaster. Grind like a grandmaster. Okay. Yeah. One of Magnus's first sponsors was a clothing company. What was that company? Those were the very early days. I remember yeah. Chess.com was at that event in New York yeah. City. Um, but yeah, the company would be G Star Raw. Nice. Which of these has Magnus Carlson won five of? Classical World Champs, Blitz World Champs, Rapid World Champs. Uh, classical. Nailed it. What is the name of Magnus Carlsen's Twitch channel, and do you know how to pronounce it? I mean, the, the name is, it, well, I mean, I, I know what it, how you spell it. I probably mispronounced it, but I think it's Maskinison. Correct. Will we see more from the Ma Maskinson uh, Twitch in the future? I have to say that your um, pronunciation is abysmal. Maskinison. Maskinison? How did I do? Muskinison, yeah. Who did Magnus Carlsen beat with 1F3 at the 2022 Champions Chess Tour? Champions Chess Tour, ah. I thought you were going to ask about a different game where he it was F3. I think that would have been, uh, I think that was Wei Yi, if I'm not mistaken. It was Duda. Oh, it was Duda. Oh, it was Wei Yi H4? Wei Yi might have been H4. Okay, it was Duda. Okay. Pawn to F3. What a strange opening. Which TV show did Magnus Carlsen appear in in 2017? In 2017, um, I believe that would be The Simpsons. Nice. In addition to chess, Magnus Carlsen has been ranked the number one player in the world at one other thing. What is that thing? That's uh, fan fantasy football. European football, to be clear. Nice. <laughs> fantasy Premier League, nailed it. During the classic match Carlsen Fresenay 2013, what was Magnus Carlsen's famous quote? Oh, oh, this was, this was at the training camp. This wasn't an actual match. Um, it was... Uh, uh, two, I believe it was two week, too slow. Nailed it. Two weeks, too slow. <laughs> All right, Magnus Carlson trivia wrapped.